Let's go again. All right, let's see what I start out with this time. Elephant rifle. Oh, that's the one I, uh... Yeah, that's the same one I had last time. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, now I can go a lot faster, that's for sure. Now that I actually know what I'm doing somewhat. And I will save my explosive as long as I can for any secrets. Actually, those kind of look like broken walls. At least on the map they do. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Okay, that's not what I need to do. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the Long John. This is the Fat John. Antique two-barreled hunting shotgun. Okay. That sounds like an improvement, actually. Two shots, I'll take it. Uh, great. God damn it. I'ma stab you. I'ma stab you. Oh yeah. Alright, what was in here? Is that canned meat? Yes it is, and I don't even need it. Organic garden type. Two blah blah blah. What is this? Is this a doorway? Yes, a very small one. Move that explosive up. Okay, it's dead. Now I do need the canned meat. Another clip for a gun I don't have. Some more explosives, nice. Oh shit. Did that thing just spawn? Okay, how did that miss? Come on. Alright, I'm just gonna stab you. I got a med kit. Uh, I don't think I want to combine the explosives. Nah. Okay, I'm realizing that I'm not very good at melee combat. Teleglitch space-time anomaly, initial analysis summary. Wait, I've already... Yeah, I've already read that before. Oh, God. Holy shit. Okay, explosive time. Definitely explosive time. That was not very effective. That was pretty effective. Alright, I've got three shots. Make them count. God damn it. Come on, come at me. I think I got hurt. Oh well, whatever. I'm fine. I keep wanting to save my explosives, but in situations like that, I just can't. I 
Now, where have I not been? <clears throat> down here? For some reason, I'm not seeing the red doors, but I'm pretty sure I haven't been down here. And that up there is where I came from, right? That dot? Explosive grenades for a gun I don't have. And another explosive. All right, how many? Oh, God. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't even kill them. I feel like I've got to be pretty close to the teleporter, given how much I've explored. Ow. Yeah, I'm actually not going to kill them. Maybe it's best to avoid them. I... Wow. Wow. Okay, I just got trapped in a corner and then I accidentally blew myself up. MLG! I kind of freaked out. Alright, well, wow, this thing has a bunch of grenades. Put that up. Put, put that up there. That's got nothing. I don't even know what I picked up. Uh, I guess I picked up that. Sure, that's good. Alright. That didn't go so well. I blew myself up in a corner. Wow. Amazingly, it didn't kill me, though, which I really thought it would. Ooh, shotgun. Ten shots, fully automatic. The way they pop and explode is really satisfying. Oh, there's a door back here. And there's nothing in it. I think there's more. Come on. Come on. There you go. Whoops. God damn it. Fucking hell. Such a waste of ammo. Let's try that. Nope. Shotgun time. Are you dead? It's dead. Canned meat. Tube. Just need two more, and I can upgrade my AGL-1 to AGL-3. It'll waste three times the ammo! Alright, there's a teleportation room. Let's go explore over here first. Alright, what have we got in this chamber? Just two? Alright, let's try this thing out. Oh, did I hear more? No, thought I heard more. Oh, that actually worked.
Whoops, I thought I had my grenade launcher out. Oh well. Fuck you. Alright, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Wow, I just realized the game actually allows you to reload even if it does nothing. Wow, so if you panic and try to reload, it's actually going to harm you. That's pretty cool. I like it. I see you. Ooh. Canned meat, canned meat, canned meat. What are these, cans? No way, those are shells. Shotgun shells? Yes, they are. Wait a minute, did I just see... There's like a little... Oh, nothing. It's at the end of this hallway, there's like a little yellow pixel that keeps flashing. I thought maybe that was something. I th no, I think it's just like the ground showing through or something. Yeah, that's nothing. Right, I think there's one place left. Yep, right here. Okay, wait a minute. Is this a weak wall? I think that... Yeah, that's a weak wall. Okay. Um, I think I tried the shotgun, right? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Alright, let's try this. Seriously? Do I need to combine it into a super explosive, or is this just not actually a secret room? Alright, well, I guess I'm done here. Alright, where are we gonna go to vacation? Teleport to Plankton Farm again? Okay, so it's the same, it's not like randomized options, it's the same two options every time. Hmm. Well, what the hell, let's let's change it up. Alright, to the left is the military biology sector. Let's do it. The situation is much worse than I expected. It seems the non-human combatants have been let loose all over the facility, and they are programmed to attack on site. The facility life support seems to be working, but only at emergency capacity. Almost all weapon locker... Lockers and food reserves have been emptied, probably by the zombies. The military biology sector will be a tough one, for it is the center of the military purpose life forms. Life cloned, mutated, and breeded for a single nasty purpose. I bet they're all hungry. Great. Uh, shouldn't that be bred, though? Breeded for a single nasty purpose? Shouldn't that be bred for a single nasty purpose? I don't know. Not important. 54% accuracy, not bad, not good. Well, I guess I'm probably going to encounter some new exciting life forms. I can't wait.
the Teleglitch Incident 3. During the experiment, Militech scientists will aim to teleport a single random molecule from the other side of the universe into the facility. The molecule size was picked to guarantee safety in both ends of the transportation. A smaller particle leaving its original position might create a nuclear reaction. While something with a larger mass might potentially carry some risks for the experimenters. Alright, so this is from before they transported the molecule and found that it was basically the worst possible molecule they could have ever transferred. The heck is that? Har... what does that say? Hardware. A box full of random metal junk looks very useful. Can I combine anything? Nope. Ooh, grenades and an explosive. Does that mean I can use this now? Yes, it does. Plant Medusa 1C, Indigenous Life Forms M2. We have named the local life forms Amoeba M, uh, Amoeba number 1 and Amoeba number 2. They seem to have almost identical genetic codes, except for two key differences. Number 1 is white and operates during the day. Number 2 is black and nocturnal. It seems the two primitive life forms have been locked into evolutionary battle for thousands of years without any real shifts of power. Oh, great. Ow. Am I out? I am out. Whew. Well, there goes all my shotgun ammo. Guess I'll take some canned meat. Oh, 9mm pistol. Oh, I actually have the pistol. Holy shit, I think I have... Yeah, 15 out of 30 shots. Nice. Good against small numbers. Alright. Cool. What is this? Tube? That's a tube. Wait a minute. If I combine the 9mm pistol with the hardware... Alright, let's see what I can make. Oh, I don't need three tubes, I only need two. Okay, let's do that. Or wait a minute, no, no, hold on. Plate. I might as well make the plate. Oh, shit. Ooh, I can make a nail gun. Shoots nails, only effective at close range. Hmm. But I do have tons of nail boxes, which is nice. Shoots three adhesive grenades. I don't really like this gun, so I don't really want to upgrade it. Alright, so I can either make an automatic pistol, amazing damage and rate of fire, medium accuracy, or I can make a nail gun. I want to make a nail gun. Let's do that. Alright. Unfortunately, that means I no longer have a pistol, but whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? I have a nail gun and I have nail boxes, but I don't have any ammo. But hold on, it looks like I can craft it? Two-barreled nail gun, only effective at close range. Holy shit, that sounds nice. Okay, so you can combine the nails with explosives? What? Why would you need to combine it with explosives to make it work? Uh, okay. 50 shots. Alright, two barreled. What the hell? Let's do it. Alright, a two barreled nail gun. Let me just see how close the range is. Ah, okay, so it splits off in two. It shoots two each time as well. Okay. So it'll work from a far range, but it, the accuracy is going to be shit. Got it. The fuck is that? Holy shit.
It doesn't seem very effective. The hell are these things? They got stuck to each other? That was weird. Okay, I no longer like the nail, nail gun, and I wish I stuck with the pistol. This thing sucks. There better be something good in here, given what I just had to fight. Poison Gardens. Note to anybody who is interested. Productivity Monitoring Administration Protocol over AI has given us a permit for small-scale gardening, provided the result of gardening research. Work can be used for military application. Personally, I just want to work with living plants and see them grow. What did I just do? I just opened something. What the hell did I just... Uh... What the fuck? Oh, God. Are they all dead? I think they're dead. Nope. Now they're dead. I just opened some door. And there were apparently a very lot of... Uh, a bunch of angry things behind the door. God damn it. Okay, now they're dead. There's gotta be something good in here. The fuck did they come from? What did I open? What did I open? Manual gate control room. Where did they come from? The pipes? Alright, well, I have no idea what I just opened. But it's time to leave. Okay. Let's go this way. Well, I guess I'll take the med kit. I guess I'll craft more nail gun ammo. Even though the gun kind of sucks, I guess it's better than the explosive. Empty can, wonderful. Oh, oh, great. Oh, more. And now I'm out. And now I'm out of that. I'm out of everything. Shit. Shit. I don't know what that is, but it does not have items, that's for sure. Um... Okay, this, wow, this place is huge. Holy shit. Um, wow. I could try to kill them. That was surprisingly effective. That hurt. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I still have no ammo, though. And there's more. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not going to melee these to death. Oh, 
Okay, it's time to find the way out of here. I don't think it's this way, but I'm going to check. Ooh. I just found a revolver. And an explosive. That helped. Revolver has six shots. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know. I, I no. Uh, lethal nanospores biolab. Great. Sounds wonderful. Sounds safe. Uh, uh. Where did I come in? How? how where? Oh, I came in from there. Okay. Please don't be a dead end. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow, okay. Great. That's probably going to be a dead end, too. Fuck it. Ah. <sighs> Going around again. I'm assuming enemies will follow you indefinitely. Let's go down to this door. Wait, what is this? The Teleglitch Incident 1. Okay, so this is the first one. It is uh, well researched that unlimited range teleportation requires unlimited calculation power from the teleportation software and is therefore theoretically impossible. During the proposed experiment, Militech scientists will try to bypass this problem by using some clever mathematical solutions. Wait, I'm sorry. They are attempting to use math to solve a problem that is impossible. If something's impossible, what doesn't that mean you can never solve it? I okay, sure. Uh, let's see what's down here. I'm sure wonderful things await me. Things that want to hug me and give me ammo. What's in here? I don't care, I'm gonna die if I go there. Oh my god, this place is so big. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, this looks promising. Please don't lead me to a dead end, because I... Oh, fuck. 14 hit points. Great. Teleglitch Incident 2. The key for unlimited teleportation range is software that uses well-packaged uh, uses well-packaged fuzzy randomness inside a fractal information structure that copies the human brain neural layout. Using the fuzzy randomness has a small chance to occasionally produce uh, super huge calculations in an instant, making teleportation possible for hyper long distances. Okay, well that made no sense. That was a waste of ammo. And that's a dead end. Whew, that was close. Is that a door? I don't think that's a door. Fuck. How... Where... Where do I get out of here? There's a couple doors going off to the side. Alright, let's go back up. Well, I'm gonna die. Let's blow myself up. Oh wait, there's a door. Never mind. If this is a dead end, I'm dead. Okay, time to kill myself. Goodbye. See? They didn't get to kill me. <laughs> Just before your mind fades to oblivion, you manage to smirk and whisper, I will be back. Yes, I will. 59% accuracy. Alright, not bad. I think I'm getting better. 
Yeah, this game is hellaciously difficult, which I like. I like things that are hard. Alright, let's make a new game, but before I do that, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, let's make a new game. <laughs> you know, I wonder what these levels are. Like level 13, 13B. Are they... Maybe they just allow you to start further in the game? Like you're starting out from a harder place? I, I don't know. Alright, I see what I start out with this time. The Pink Death belonged to the previous facility head scientist, who used to be a semi-famous rapper back on Earth before she enrolled in Mars Systems Theory University and started her scientific career. It packs a stronger punch than pistol. It packs a stronger punch than pistol. It should be the pistol, but is totally inaccurate for longer distances. The ex-head scientist was a close friend of mine and fortunately left her position at Medusa 1C six months ago. She also gave me her pink death before leaving, before leaving as a gift. I never knew I would have to use it. Pink death. It doesn't sound good, but... Self-defense weapon optimized for heavy armor penetration at point-blank range uses heavy rifle bullets. Okay. It doesn't sound good, but... A pistol thing that fires... Heavy rifle bullets and is designed for heavy armor penetration. That actually sounds really good. The name doesn't sound good, but the description sounds good. And it's pink. I like it already. One shot, one kill. Wow, damn. I actually really like it. Ow. Forgot to reload. Holy shit, this thing takes a long time to reload. Okay, that I don't like. Organic garden type, blah blah blah. How did that miss? Oh, come on. I hear you. And meat. Yep. Oh god. Alright, let's stab these ones. Never mind, fuck it. Too many. Changed my mind. Wonderful. <clears throat> Ooh, pipe. Oh, sorry, tube. Not a pipe, it's a tube. Explosives and nail box. Now I hit the nail gun, so I'm, I don't know what the hell I can do with that. Well, I can make nail ammo, which would be a complete waste. Let's make a super explosive. Yes. Super explosive. Sounds positively smashing. Get it? Because you, you blow up the explosive and it smashes stuff? <laughs> yeah. 
Bleep, bloop, beep. Really? That missed. God damn it. Really? Come on. It's like you have to shoot them in the torso and you can't hit their limbs or anything like that. One shot. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Oh wait, hold on, what is this? Ah, the super explosive can be combined with a nail box to make nail bomb. Can gun. <clears throat> Dangerous to user. No thanks. And what the fuck is that? Pzfust. Disposable rocket launcher, one shot only. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, what was that? Huh. Well, I obviously don't want that. Uh, disposable rocket launcher... Nah, fuck it, I'm just gonna make an explosive, a super explosive. A super duper explosive. You know what I wanna do? I wanna get every single enemy that I can find on this map, get them in one room, like this room here, that's nice and big, and blow them all up. That's what I wanna do. But I feel like this early in the game would be a waste. I think maybe I should wait until the next level. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. If if I can. If I get swarmed with the group, well, obviously plans are going to change. Wait, was that a door in there? Okay, well, that is a swarm. But again, I don't want to use it if I don't have to, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shit. Oh, God, this is not good. I don't know what I just took. I just took a small bomb. God, I want to save this so bad. I want to save this for the next level, because I know the next one's going to be so much harder. Alright, let's figure out what's down here. Mmm. Mmm. Doors. Doors. Too many doors. This is really dangerous. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Okay, time to use it. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe I can put them in a... Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Well, here we go. Oh, fuck. I picked up some stuff, I don't know what. Uh, more explosives, let's combine them. Super explosive, and... Boom! Alright, well now I know how powerful that is. And that's the same thing I have with the nail bomb, except without the nails. Alright, fuck it. Okay, that was very good. Well, that was stressful. Let's go check this out. Nothing. Okay, I guess 
here. Oh, great. And I'm fucked again. Should have gone in the other door. Twelve hit points. Oh, oh fuck six, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Like, where is this place even at? Any more red doors? I guess it's here? There's no red doors, but it looks like I haven't been there fully. I don't know, fuck it, let's go. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, though. I guess I could throw empty cans at them. Maybe annoy them a bit. Did they stop following? Wait, so it is possible to make enemies stop following you. Okay, okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> oh sweet, here it is. Let's go to the plankton farm on the right. Last War Critter Project mini version. We had the famous huge version that carried lasers and miniguns, but there was also a mini version about the size of a pony, optimized for extra brutal close combat with barbed tentacles. I'm glad we didn't keep any blueprints after the project was finished. Great! Oh, wonderful! I have 10 hit points. Holy shit, I'm already fucked. Hmm. Alright, time to make a dash for my life. And I go into a fucking corner. Okay, kill me. I'm dead. <laughs> All ends are followed by beginnings. Well, if you play a new game, otherwise it's the ending followed by nothing. Alright, I think this is going to be like FTL in the sense that it's going to be a game that I bash my head against and hopefully actually finish, although I never actually finished FTL. I got close, but I never did it. This one's going to be a bitch. Yeah, this is going to be hard, but I like it, because that means once I do actually finish it, and I certainly intend to try really, really hard to finish it, once I do, it is going to be so satisfying. I mean, if it was easy, then where's the satisfaction? You know, great, I completed something that anyone could do. whoop de doo No. I want to complete something that took me five hours, ten hours, a hundred tries, whatever, to complete. The harder, the better. Sort of. To a degree. Obviously, it's possible to have a game that's too hard. Alright, here we go again. What am I going to start with? This weapon made of gold and titanium belonged to an earth metal billionaire thousands of years ago. It found its way to Medusa 1C, 1C via some expensive weapon collector's auction where one of the facility administration officials uh, bought it both as a financial asset and self-defense measure. I played cards with the previous owner just a few days before the mayhem and won the old gun in an honest game for all or nothing. Five-shot revolver Made of gold and titanium. 
Okay, sounds really good, actually. I like how you always start with an empty can, as if that even matters. I mean, you can use it for crift, uh, crafting, but... It's just so... pathetic. It's like, yeah, the game hates you so much that we're gonna throw you an empty can. Good luck. Well, this is off to a good start. Holy shit. I'm not sure if the AI has some, like, randomization in it, or if it's just really smart, because sometimes they seem to, like, learn your patterns or something, or maybe they're just... I don't know, they just seem to do unexpected things. Alright, I really need to figure out this secret wall thing. I mean, this looks like it. You can even see it on the map. I'm thinking maybe you just need an ultra explosive to blow it open. I really want to know what's inside of them. And I'm about to find out if an ultra explosive is indeed what I need. Okay, let's give this a shot. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, where are these weak walls? Is this a weak wall? Looks like basically the same thing as this. Or sorry, a secret wall, I guess it's called. It's not a weak wall, it's one that's been... I guess hastily fortified, I think? Come on. Stabby, stabby. Some more explosives, a med kit. Not bad. Ooh, another one. Sweet. Alright, let's combine those. Doing pretty good on ammo. A lot better than I've done in the past, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are zombies. And they seem extraordinarily fast for zombies. Usually zombies are slow, but these seem superhumanly fast. Um... Great. Uh, okay, what should I do? I don't want to use up my explosive, let's do this. For fuck's sake. That was pathetic. Alright, there we go. Come on, my aim is terrible with this thing. I'd like to say I'm getting better with it, but I'm not sure I am. Yeah, let's make it a party. Alright, I think it's explosive time. Or maybe it's running time. But last time I ran, that didn't do so well. Nope, I think it's explosive time. 
Nice. Killed every single one. Great, he punched me in the back of the head. Tell glitch space time anomaly. Um, yeah, already read that. Oh god. Oh god. All right, time to run. Is this a fucking dead end? No. Okay, door. What's in here? Stuff. Shotgun. Whew. I've got a bunch of guns with very little ammo. Three, one, and five out of seven. Alright, where can I go? I can go down here. Through the red door. Looks like that's it. Actually, I think there's two ways here. One here, one there, and then the red door. Let's go down. I feel like going down. Never mind, I don't feel like going down anymore. But let's go up. This level is really big. Right, well, that's all my ammo. But everything's fine because I've canned meat. Ooh. Eh. It's not really that good. Nail ammo. Nope. I have six shots of my griffin. Ooh. Okay. Right is the plankton. Uh, I guess I'll go for the. L Oops. I guess I'll go for the left just to change things up again. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I'll just leave him. Don't want to waste the ammo. Alright, let's go. Stupid amoeba. Level two.
the heck is... Oh, hardware. No, can't craft anything with it yet, though. Uh, yeah. I could try shooting them, but I'm gonna run out of ammo. Cloning vats. Support area. Well, shit. Alright, blow them up. Wow, really? Whew. Okay, I have one shot left. Wonderful. What the hell is this? Empty can. Might as well use this med kit. The teleportation technology is M2. Short range tele. I was thinking maybe I've read this, I haven't. Short range teleportation was invented with the help of brilliant particle physicist and brain surgeon Dr. Edvin Schmer. Uh. Schmerzhoff? Dr. Schmerzhoff finally solved the problem by copying the structure of human brain cells and using it as calculation hardware blueprints for the device. Well, I have one shot, and a couple dozen enemies. Something doesn't add up. Or maybe it does add up, but unfortunately the sum of all the numbers is my death. Ooh. Okay, this can be opened... by where? Some random location? I'm guessing it's a random location. Yep. Get out of my way. Blast doors opened. Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna get my explosive out. Please tell me the teleportation thing is right in here. Wow, this is really long. Ooh. Nope. God damn it. Fuck, I meant to open it, but I... <sighs> I used my explosive. Great. Poison Gardens, note to anybody who's interested. Number two, anybody who's interested is welcome to try out the new garden area. I prepared ten sorts of seeds for planting. Note, these are all seeds for a Militech high-grade military plants, genetically modified to be lethally poisonous, with flexible DNA ready to mutate for rapid research. Handle with care. Okay, great, I'm gonna die. There's something to pick up, but I can't pick it up. Oh my god. My god. Please, teleport me out of here. Oh my fucking god. I just went into a dead end. And so, our unlikely hero found himself in a corner. What happened next will surprise no one. Because he got beaten up by a mob of monsters and died, which is exactly what everyone thought would happen.
<laughs> In case you didn't notice, you're dead. Thank you for telling me. I wasn't sure. But hey, I got 75% accuracy. That's pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Okay. Post-game stretch. Uh. <sighs> okay. I think this is a game I need to take in short doses so that my brain doesn't turn to mush, but I definitely want to come back and play it some more until I beat it. Yeah, this is a really cool game. It's brutally difficult, which I like. The graphics are really interesting, and I like it. It kind of, I mean, the graphics look kind of strange in screenshots and things like that, but when you see it in motion, it really comes together. And, yeah, it's just been a while since I played a roguelike, and I really like it. It's a really freaking cool game. So I can't wait to come back and hopefully at some point beat it, but I really... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to beat it anytime soon. Because I've played, what, how many lives? This is my fourth life, I think. And so far, the only thing I've managed to do is get to the very beginning of the third level and then get shot in the face. So if that's any indication, then I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it to the end anytime soon. But I intend to keep trying until I do. So I hope you've enjoyed Teleglitch, uh, Die More Edition. That is the name of it, right? Die More Edition? Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I will be back soon.